is a short demo using the Mango Compliance software app where we're going to talk through one of the new COVID-19 management checklists which we've created in the audit module and this allows uh, our management team that may visit a site or a location where they can check and be comfortable that our work site and our employees are following the correct measures. So we go into an audit, hit the plus button, we select the form that we're going to use, which is the COVID-19 management checklist. We may wish to mention here the site that we've gone to. So it might just be that we mention this is our Glasgow site. We may only have one. And we may want to mention that it's associated to this branch and it's our engineering department that we're visiting today. We must select who the reviewer is. So it might be this management person that's doing this, maybe reviewing it themselves, or they may be sending it to someone in the compliance team that will gather the information associated to this and allow them to run reports. We hit save and then the audit form as we see appears. So we've got two sections in this audit form, one associated to employee focus and another one associated to the work site. So this is effectively a, a compliance check by a manager walking around the sites or a supervisor. Have all employees completed their COVID-19 personal health review? So we can check this on our Mango system to see that all the people that are signed on in the site have completed this. So we may say yes. Are all workers clear on how they will travel to work in line with the government or company guidance? So we may also say here yes. And we can give some evidence or note associated to that. We may have a policy in place. Do all workers have access to PPE for both their role and to protect against the spread of COVID-19? And we've witnessed this. So we can say yes and we can click the three, button, three dots and take a photo of showing evidence of people using this and maybe a storage location. Are there adequate hand washing facilities and so on and so forth to complete the employee focus section? We then have a work site focus section where we're going to ask questions about the site itself. Have any sites been identified as having a high level of public interaction? Have you updated the company risk register to select or to reflect, my apologies, the new COVID-19 risks? What about in terms of cleaning? Do we have hygiene protocols in place, uh, cleaning policies? And if we feel that this is not the case, so for example, we may find at this site that there are no new hygiene protocols and we could do with some signage here, we may wish to add a note, uh, new signs not in place and we might hit save and of course in this case we could add an improvement to address this um, if it's something we can do here and now it's suggested that we undertake that immediately but if this requires someone possibly outside the site we may need to add an improvement here and this improvement might be described as new COVID-19 posters and we might say that this is associated to the Glasgow ABC site. What type of improvement is it? So we may see that this is something that we've identified from an audit. The source of this came from myself and I select the person who identified this, the date that we I identified it, and some details. So here I'm going to instruct someone, please ensure signs are delivered and installed at the site. with communication to all workers. 
identify who the coordinator is. So I may say here that I know the coordinator for this is this individual. And once I've completed that, I hit save and it will add this improvement associated to this particular audit question. Once I've gone through and completed the full audit questions, I hit save and hitting the three buttons at the top, I select sign off and this audit form now 